All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about acetaminophen overdose, um, which is actually a, a common and disturbing problem in the United States. Um, acetaminophen is also known as paracetamol in other settings, um, and it's a readily available over-the-counter drug that has high lethality potential and produces very minimum, minimal symptoms, at least in the initial phase. So the way acetaminophen works, um, or the way that toxicity works, I should say, is that the liver metabolizes the acetaminophen into a compound called NAPQI, which is highly toxic. Now, in normal doses of acetaminophen, your NAPQI is combined uh, in the body with thiols. That produces a non-toxic metabolite, which is then eliminated. However, in overdoses, your thiol stores are depleted and the toxic uh, metabolite accumulates. Now, the main effect of acetaminophen is liver injury. So in high doses, acetaminophen can actually cause fulminant liver failure, and it's one of the leading causes of liver transplantation in young people. The antidote for this is called NAC, or N-acetylcysteine. And basically what it does is it detoxifies NAPQI and decreases the production of it. It's a very, very effective antidote, but it has to be given early. It should be initiated within eight hours of the ingestion. So this is very important. You can't wait around to see if the patient is going to have manifestations of liver failure. You need to initiate treatment based on your clinical suspicion. So there's a nomogram that helps guide our decision about whether to give uh, NAC to patients with acetaminophen overdoses. Note that the nomogram doesn't start until four hours after the ingestion. So it takes four hours for GI absorption to be complete, um, meaning we don't check a level until four hours after the ingestion. After that point, depending on what level we get, we can differentiate between high risk of toxicity and low risk of toxicity. And if the patient is above that thresh threshold for toxicity, we want to go ahead and treat them. All right. So obviously, I couldn't cover every possible poisoning, so I tried to give you some essential principles. Um, it's really important to know your toxidromes so that you can recognize what drug class your patient might have been exposed to and narrow your differential diagnosis. Otherwise, you're going to be left trying to figure out the individual properties of lots of different drugs, which is not really realistic. You want to make sure you externally decontaminate your patient in order to protect both yourself and them. You want to provide aggressive supportive care with a real focus on the ABCs. You want to recognize any potential high toxicity or high lethality ingestions and get help. You want to consider GI decontamination, especially in patients with a high risk of morbidity or mortality from their toxic ingestion. But remember to always protect their airway when you do that. And then you want to be aware of antidotes and use them when they're available and indicated.